Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Mauricio. How are you doing tonight? Fine. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, everyone, tonight we are going to start a class and we are going to try to do it punctually, with punctuality. Uh, it's eight o'clock already. Thank you, everybody, for being here. And let's remember just a little bit what we are studying in this module. Let's remember that for unit one, we started to... Um, develop or to remember some form of the verbs and also verb tenses. We remembered the simple past, some or just a little bit about the present perfect, but now we are trying to um, expand the vocabulary to express activities that we do every day and that they are related to our functions, responsibilities, and everyday tasks. Right now, we are starting Unit 3, okay? Well, we did it yesterday, right? We started Unit 3, and we are talking about HR, all right? HR, Human Resources Department. And now, we are going to try to see some, uh, some of their functions, some more vocabulary, uh, talking about professions, occupations, job positions, descriptions of jobs in the HR department. There are also procedures and we want to see the way to write the procedures. We know how to read a procedure because it's a uh, one step-by-step -step list, right, uh, that we have to follow in order to solve a situation, in order to accomplish with a um, process, right, or in order to have an action done in the company. But welcome, everybody. Welcome. I hope everybody is okay tonight. Hello, teacher. Hi, Miss Norma. How are you doing tonight? Um, oh. All right. Uh, do you feel better? Yeah. All right. Thank God. Thank, Thank God. You. Okay. So now we are going to introduce the class. We're going to see the topic for tonight. The topic for tonight is writing and understanding procedures. Writing and understanding procedures. Writing, because it's a one step by step list, right? Understanding, knowing what go, what do you have to do first, what goes next, and follow the order of steps. 
right? So that's understanding procedures to make clear what's the next action to follow, right? Okay. The objective for this class is that you will be able to explain about people in your company and also in their job positions, but you are going to do this in writing, okay? In writing. Um, in our companies, they have like these under operational procedures, right? Like the SOP, the famous one, uh, and they are trying to and standard. I'm sorry, standardized all the procedures in order to have or to make more. Um, a mm, functional, okay, more functional, the actions in the company. But uh, they always are making these forms because they are, um, they are always trying to make like a list standardizing right standardizing the problems the issues the situations the actions the tasks the roles the functions etc right so they are trying to standardize everything because it's more functional for the company and people become more um they become more productive all right, if they follow procedures. So this is what we are going to see. We, were, we are going to try to explain about people and the procedures or the functions of these people in the company. But we are going to do this in writing, okay? And our class agenda is our feedback from the last class. Then we are going to continue just a little bit with the HR definitions and functions and the vocabulary. We are going to use just a little bit the dictionary with some terms. Um, maybe we know the terms, but we want to try to learn how to define these terms in English, 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 right? And then we have the conversation practice. You are going to create your conversation and then you are going to uh, go to the breakout rooms and fill in some forms that we have in the manual as exercises, right? Then we are going to understand the procedures and write a procedure. Uh, the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is not for Jose Bernardo. Jose Bernardo was yesterday, so I have to check up who is going to stay, all right? So let's start. Let's start now by giving just a little feedback. So let's remember, we were saying the ING perform. Do you remember? Good evening. Hello, good evening, Vladimir, welcome. We are introducing the class, all right? So this is what we were uh, looking at yesterday, okay? We were studying about working, mm, the other overseeing, uh, it was reviewing, developing, Mm, again, working, uh, inspecting, etc. right? This is the ING perform when they become a subject or they become a noun, right? They are not properly a verb uh, in the sentence, but they are a noun and they define the action, but the name of the action, all right? They define the name of the action. So mm, we were talking about uh, just a little bit. So now let's go uh, just back in time to yesterday's class. But now we are going to start with the, the class for today. Let's try to say, what is the description of these job positions? Description includes not only the uh, your career, but what are your functions or your, your responsibilities that the company needs, right? So let's read just a little bit. 
And we are going to say, develops an in-depth knowledge of the contractual requirements for the project, right? Oversees the construction to ensure adherence to approved drawings and specifications and affects construction workmanship, materials, equipment. Oversees site work elements within discipline and provides early notification of potential schedule slip pages regarding the mechanical construction activities. Monitors the work process, performs quality assurance testing and enforces safety requirements. Makes post estimates on design changes, evaluates post proposals and contractors requests for adjustments. Reports to the project director on the project's conformity and non-conformity to approve drawings and specifications, makes recommendations on how to correct deficiencies and resolve problems during construction. All right, let's see the way to write, okay? The way to write the job description, okay? This is the way to write the job description. What are we going to do? Ah, this is the first part, or this is just one of the parts that compound the job description, okay? Because the requirements of candidates, it's really important. It's not only the functions, but the responsibilities, right? Okay, there you go. Entonces, veamos cómo se escribe una descripción del trabajo. Digamos que usted está buscando un empleo o usted mira publicado un empleo. Normalmente, ¿qué es lo que va a ir incluido en esa información o en esa publicación? Ah, lo que usted, lo que se supone o lo que se espera que usted va a realizar o sus funciones, ¿verdad? Pero también los requerimientos del candidato, ¿verdad? No solamente van las funciones y responsabilidades, van también los requerimientos del candidato. ¿Qué requerimientos, what requirements do you think that this engineer has to have? A ver, ¿qué requerimientos? Si estas son las funciones, ¿qué requerimientos creen ustedes que debe reunir este ingeniero que opte a este cargo. A ver. Engineer have experience. Experience, uh -huh. Work experience in the same field, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. About how long, how, how long, how many years of experience do you think? Yeah, five. Five years? Year. Yeah. Okay. And if we make a range, is it okay from five to seven, from three to five years? Yeah, why? All right. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh -huh. Then it will be at least five years uh, of it uh, work experience. Uh, All right. Uh -huh. What other requirement or qualification do you think this engineer has to have to develop all these functions? Mm -hmm. Personal manager. Yes, good. Uh -huh. That's like a um, qualification in the work experience, right? Personnel management. All right, good. Mm -hmm. A ver, y de estudios from his status, what do you think will be the requirement? Uh, university degree. University degree, all right. And what is the field or the career? Uh, 
industrial engineer. Okay, industrial engineer, even though they're going to the construction things, right? Because it says mm, design, project director, drawings and specifications, mm -hmm. como los planos, right? Uh huh. What else? Ah, because it says inside, overseas sites, site work elements. So it means tools, right? And it says within discipline and provides early notification of potential schedule, sleep pages, sleep pages, uh, things that are not uh, going well, right in time, right? Como decir, las cosas que no están eh, concordando con los tiempos, entonces él tiene que verificar eso y al mismo tiempo informarlo, ¿verdad? Y Tomar acción. Okay, and then it says, regarding the mechanical construction activities, mechanical construction activities, all right? Then it is construction. So engineer, it could be an industrial engineer, he said, and what else? What, what is the other career? And Spanish would say civil, right? Civil, yeah. Uh -huh. So let's say civil engineer, all right? Let's say that because that's our career in Spanish. So yes. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que lleva una descripción del trabajo cuando se publica para que queda la vacante, verdad? Entonces, se publica job listing. ¿Qué es lo que incluye esa información? A ver. Requirements and functions, right? Requirements and functions. Entonces, se ponen los requerimientos y las funciones, ¿verdad? Que ese cargo se espera que desempeñe. Ok, Dan, ¿cómo decimos eso? ¿Cómo ponemos en una lista esas funciones? How do we express that? Then we use the simple present, all right? We use the simple yes, present. Uh -huh. And... Yes, Yes, it's the same profile. The same profile, yes. Profile. Okay. Profile. So if we mm, try to see here, what verbs do you see in this list of functions? ¿Qué verbos miran en esta lista de funciones que debe realizar el ingeniero? A ver. ¿Qué acciones? A ver, ¿cuáles verbos mira Imelda? ¿Alguien quiere ayudarle, Imelda? A ver. Stay sure. Stay sure. Ensure. Ajá, good. Uh -huh. Approved. Approved. Knowledge. And knowledge is not a verb. No is a verb, all right? No. Knowledge is the noun, okay? So I would say. Overseas. Overseas. Uh -huh. This is a verb. Test. Test. To ensure. Uh -huh. Test. Make. Make. Drawings, en este caso son los planos, ¿verdad? Entonces es un nombre, it's a noun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aquí okay. sí, miren, este sí es verbo, miren, monitors, Monitor. monitorear wow. o monitorea, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Acá sería overseas, miren. Uh -huh, lo tenemos por acá. Pero en la primera, vaya, agarremoslas en orden. Vamos a la primera. Develops. Ajá. Uh -huh. And that's it, right? And the second one, overseas to ensure, I'm sorry, ensure. 
Ajá. Inspects es otro verbo. Miren, inspects. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿qué otro verbo encontramos acá en el tercero? En el third one. Overseas. Uh -huh. Solo que aquí es side work. Miren, aquí es side work. Este no sería. Este no es. No. No bueno. sería verbo, ¿verdad? Porque ahí uh -huh. está nada más el lugar de trabajo, que es diferente, uh -huh. ¿sí? Entonces, uh -huh. no sería verbo. Vamos a ver, otro verbo en tiempo presente que miren por acá. Miren, aquí hay uno, ¿eh? Provide. Provides. Good. Uh -huh. And that's it, right? Now, and this one, monitors. What else? Performs. Performs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And. Enforcer. Enforces. Yes. Uh -huh. Enforces. Okay. Now, and this one. Makes. Estimates. En este caso es coast estimates. Entonces estamos, es un nombre. ¿Vení? En su momento y en un contexto diferente, sí. And est to estimate, ahí sería calcular, entonces sí, pero aquí no. En este caso es el estimado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Design change sería el mismo caso. Design changes, no. En este caso es, esto sí es un verbo. Esto sí es un verbo. Lo único que en cambios diseñados, ¿verdad? Se convierte también en un, en un calificativo, ¿verdad? Entonces, no entra en este momento como una acción. Evaluate. Evaluates. Yes. Evaluates. Uh -huh. Evaluates. ¿Qué otro verbo miran? A ver. Proposal. Uh, igual acá no, igual. proposals ajá o sea si ven uh -huh. las dos palabras hacen un solo significado yeah. right? post proposals ajá. adjustments okay uh -huh. pero en este caso no en este caso es un nombre como decir los ajustes verdad ajá no está diciendo ajustar sino que está hablando de los eh, las pedidos o solicitudes que hacen los contratistas para ajuste, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Reports. Va, uh, yes. Uh, let's go to the next one. Reports. Uh -huh. Next one. Make, ya está arriba. Makes, yes, but it's good because it's right here too. Thank you. And, uh -huh. Result. Yes. Uh -huh. Y acá, to correct, también está como verbo, miren, en cómo corregir, ah, entonces ahí sí está como verbo, ¿sí? Uh, during construction. All right, then we express the functions and the roles of people or job positions in the simple present. We can use this form of the verb as the third person form, all right? The third person form, we add letter S, okay? Hay otras maneras también de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Ayer estábamos viendo que si lo ponemos con ING, también funciona bien. Lo único que tenemos que tener ese cuidado, ¿verdad? Que es un sujeto y que lo que va antes del ING es un posesivo, ¿verdad? Porque en... A eso se refería la gramática que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? Ok, en este caso estamos viendo que el sujeto de estas oraciones o de estas funciones es esto, ¿verdad? Engineer develops. Engineer oversees. The engineer monitors. Inspects, provides, performs. Pero ¿quién? The engineer, ¿ok? El sujeto está ahí, pero está al principio, ¿sí? O sea, no se va repitiendo. The engineer, the engineer. No, ¿verdad? Sino que solo ponemos y se sobreentiende que el sujeto es singular. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? ¿Es there any question? No. Uh -huh. 
No? No, no questions? Sí. Ok, entonces vamos expandiendo nuestro vocabulario con estos verbos. Miren, estos verbos son muy importantes y son muy técnicos. Ok, la pronunciación, veamos. Developed, developed. A ver, todos ahí en su casa. Develops. Overseen. Overseen. And sure. And sure. And specs. And specs. Provides. Provides. Monitors. Monitors. Performs. Performs. Uh, makes. Makes. Se nos pasó este. Miren, enforces. 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 Este es como refuerza, ¿ok? Refuerza. Enforces. ¿Ok? Then we have evaluates. Evaluates. Reports. Reports. Mm -hmm. Makes. Makes. Correct. To correct. Resolve. 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 All right. Thank you. All right. Bien, de esos verbos, a ver, ahorita que ya no los estamos viendo, a ver si los recuerdan, ¿ok? A ver si los recuerdan. Vamos a ver, el primero era develops, ese es para ayudarles un poquito. El primero sí se acuerdan, ¿verdad? Sí era el, más, el que más repetimos, develops. A ver, ¿cómo sería la forma ING? Developing. 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 Ajá. ¿Cuál otro? A ver, de los que hemos mencionado ahí. Report. 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 Reporting. Yes. Thank you, Darío. Uh -huh. A ver, otro. Oh, Recordemos. Perform. Ajá. Ahora digámoslo con ING. Performing. Performing, performing. Performing. Uh -huh. performing. Eh, Mauricio dijo oversee, overseeing. Okay? Overseeing. Overseeing. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿de cuál otro se acuerdan? A ver, a ver, exprimiendo Resolve. el cerebro. Resolve. Resolve. Resolving, right? Uh -huh. The ING perform. A ver, ahora me. May. Dicen, May. Ahora. El making. Making. Yes, making. Enforce. Uh -huh. Enforce. Okay, enforce. ¿Cómo sería en ING? Enforcing. Great. Uh -huh. Va, digamos la forma eh, que vimos en tiempo presente y pongámosle el ING también. Ok, vamos a ver otro que recuerden. Ensure. Ensure. Mm -hmm. Ensuring. Yes. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. All right, people. I think we did a good job now identifying this vocabulary. Okay. Now, uh, before going to the list, antes de irnos a tomar el listado, eh, vamos a recordar un poquito las palabras que estuvimos aprendiendo el día de ayer acerca de qué es HR. ¿Okay? A ver, ¿cuáles eran las palabras que poníamos ayer en la nube que pusimos, que hicimos? A ver, ¿alguien recuerda esas palabras? What does HR do? Hire. Ajá, good. Training. Ajá. Hiring policies. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Organizing. Organizing. Mm -hmm. Being more specific. 
Organizing what? Interview. Interviews, yes. Uh -huh. So interviewing. Mm -hmm. Psychology test. Good. I'm sorry, Mauricio, can you repeat? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Checking the person. Okay, checking the personnel, right? Yeah, person, personnel. Yeah, personnel. Mm -hmm. Firing. Firing, yeah, the terminations, right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Sad activity, but someone has to do the dirty job, right? <laughs> the dirty jobs. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. people, so... Excuse me? Yeah, interviewing, correct. All right. Those are functions of the HR department, okay? The Human Resources Department. But now, meanwhile, I go to call the roll. I just want you to check in any English dictionary. If you wanna use the Oxford Dictionary, it's okay. And I will present a, a list of words Related, all right. Okay, yeah, but here I have some words for you to look them up, all right. So look these words up, but you're going to understand the definition, all right? The definition and English. We want to try to define each word, but in English, all right? Not translating in English, okay? I will send the list right now. Así que mientras yo estoy tomando la eh, asistencia, ustedes buscan estas definiciones. Pueden usar el Oxford Dictionary, pueden usar el Merriam-Webster o cualquier business dictionary que ustedes tengan acceso. ¿okay? Ahí lo envié en el WhatsApp, chicos. Remember to turn on your cameras and when I call your name, you say present. Are you ready? No los miro, jóvenes. Necesito que enciendan su cámara, por favor. Los que pueden hacerlo, hagamos ese esfuerzo. Es parte de los requerimientos. Y pues no queremos que en la auditoría nos digan, mire, sus alumnos no encendían la cámara. Usted no les dijo cómo, ¿no? Ya ven que sí les dije, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present teacher. Ok. Cecilia Yasmín Mengíbar Soto. Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Miss Claudia María. Okay. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Present teacher. Okay. Daisy yeah, Elizabeth I... Resinos Álvarez. I uh, really apologize, ma'am. Uh, at this moment, she's not available. She's going to be back in around in a few minutes, please. All right, no problem, it's okay. Um, Thank you so much. But you are in her account, right? All right, no problem, just one Yes, ma'am, I am right. her husband. <laughs> oh, all right, no problem. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you, you ma'am. Thank you for the information. 
All right, people. So let's continue with the list. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present teacher. Okay, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present teacher. Okay, Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Present. Hola. Great. Hi, Irma. Eh, Jose Alexander Present. Hernandez Carvajal. Okay. Hi, Jose. teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, estoy con Jose Alexander, ¿verdad? Present. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. All right. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present, teacher. Okay. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. I remember Karen was connected. Was she? Isn't she? Permítanme, voy a verificar que en el WhatsApp teníamos algunas. Okay. No. Luis Javier Castillo. Hello, Miss Daisy. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, Luis, thank you. Hello, Miss Daisy. It's okay. I checked you in already. Thank you. Uh -huh. hey. Marianne Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Has she joined yet? Yes. Marina Jansi Sandoval Bonilla. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Nelly, okay, thank you. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arre Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay, Norma. Oscar Noé Magaño Martínez. Present teacher. Okay, Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay, Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Oh, I'm, see, I'm seeing that you, you'd like to be called Letty, right? Okay. Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltran. Present, Miss. Okay. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Okay. Bien. Solo quiero hacer un poquito de, eh, ya que estamos eh, la mayoría. Eh, Algunos de ustedes me dicen, me, o me han manifestado, ¿verdad? De que eh, quisieran tener más vocabulario, ¿verdad? Quisieran, eh, sí, ese sería la, 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 lo que más me han manifestado. Que hasta el momento ustedes entienden, pero que quisieran expandir su vocabulario. Uno de los... Eh, tips que yo les puedo dar acerca de esto, de expandir su vocabulario, es que eh, para poder hacerlo, primero hay que afianzar y practicar el vocabulario que ya tienen, ¿verdad? Eh, a veces se nos olvida, pero no es porque no lo sepamos, sino que sí, por eso es que lo olvidamos, ¿verdad? No es que no lo sepamos, sino que no lo traemos y no lo usamos. Entonces yo les puedo eh, decir que Practique las palabras que usted ya conoce, ¿verdad? La estructura básica ya la tenemos. Entonces, ahorita usted va a practicar las palabras que conoce. Y una de las maneras para expandir el vocabulario es hacer este tipo de ejercicios que estamos haciendo ahorita. Usted busca la definición en inglés y ahí va a encontrar synonyms. 
va a encontrar sinónimos para esa palabra y ahí usted expande su vocabulario, ¿ok? So, the first word we have on the list. What is the definition for workforce? Workforce. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien quiere decir? Uh, me, teacher. Yes, please, Bernardo. The workforce, the people engaged in or available for work either in a country or area in a particular firm or industry. All right, very good. So it's about people, right? People that works in the company or for, hey, tell me, Daisy. No, teacher, sorry. No, okay, okay. So what's the definition of personnel? Personnel. What is personnel? What does it mean? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. People employed in their or in our organization or engaged in our organization undertaking such as military service. All right, yeah, that's an example about the personnel, right? The, the, the types of personnel. All right, and if you see there is one word between workforce and personnel, what was this word? Había una palabra que se parece en las dos definiciones, o es la misma palabra. A ver, ¿alguien la recuerda? Uh -huh, uh -huh. It starts with E initial. N, N, engage. Yes, engage and engagement. Yes. So if you see, they're similar. Can we use workforce and personnel mm, and differently? could be in, a, uh, it depends on the situation, right? But yes, workforce and personnel are similar and they are synonyms, right? So let's look at the next word, staff. Staff. So the group of the people who work for an organization. Okay, uh -huh. the group of people, yeah, the group of people and they are uh, pursuing uh, one same goal, right? Like a team too, right? <laughs> All right. So if you see staff, personnel, workforce can be used indistinctly, in this, indistinctly, right? Okay. Now let's read the next one. Team, team. What is a team? Can you define what is a team? Uh, me? Yes, please. I'm, I'm sorry, number. Bernardo. C come on, Darío, tell us. A number of people or animals who do something together as a group. All right, all right. Uh, it's not only people, but animals too, right? Like a team. But yeah, in the workplace, we call a team a group of people pursuing the same goal as the staff, right? Trying to do an activity together, right? So yes, that's team. Team, staff, personnel, workforce, and what was the other one? Uh, no, those. Now, trainees. What is a trainee? Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, a person who is learning and practicing the skill of a particular job. Good, so it's the person who is taking a training, right? A trainee is the person 
who is learning. Yes, thank you, Dario. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the next one. It says employee, employee, employee. What is it? What is that? Someone Are you who is the pay to work for someone else? Very good, Mauricio. Yes, uh -huh. it's the person who work for a payment, right? Yes, mm -hmm. works for a payment. Very good. And um, we could say this in a different way: a person who does a work for a payment. Yeah, and it's the same thing. All right. Uh, that's a paid activity, right? Okay. Associate, associate. What is an associate? A partner or colleague in business or, or at work. Okay. So could be like the next one, right? The next one is co-worker right co-worker and associate mm, are similar do you see so we are expanding our vocabulary to call our partners co-worker associate okay continue with the words <clears throat> candidate candidate person who applies for a job or is nominated for an election. All right, yeah, the, that's in politics, yes. And also, if you apply for a job, then you're a candidate. Good, all right. And profile, profile, what is a profile? A short description of someone's mm -hmm. life, work, charity, et cetera. Characteristics, yes, characteristics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Job description, right? Job yeah. description. And also the records for this person who has been hired, okay? That's also the profile. Uh, job, job. What is a job? Can you define a job? A test a piece of work, especially one that is paid. Great, great. Uh -huh. And what about professional? Professional. Uh huh. Someone who professional. How to do? How do you define a professional? What's the definition? Eduardo, ah, it's as a listener. I'm sorry, he is as a listener. Pablo? Did you find it out? The uh, me. Okay, Bernardo. Engaged in a uh, spe specified activity as one's main main paid occupation rather than as a pastor. Uh, can you repeat it and do it more uh, fluent? I mean, in a, a normal speed. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Engaged in a specified activity as one's main paid occupation rather than as a pastime. All right, 
there you go so it means that it's it has the qualifications for the job right it has the qualifications for the job so that's, that's a professional mm -hmm. do you have another teacher tell me jc okay professional means rela relating to a person is work especially work that requires special training okay uh -huh. so we have the people who went to the university right they are specialized in a certain activity yes all right good so let's continue in the last one right the last one is practitioner who is a, a practitioner? What is the definition of that word? Practitioner. Some person actively engaged in an art, discipline, or profession, especially med medicine. Okay, very good. So if you see, we have to look up for the word engage, okay? Vamos a buscar entonces todos la palabra engage or engagement. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad que casi todas tenían esa palabra? Uh -huh. It's a verb. Uh -huh. Engage. ¿Y han escuchado esa palabra en otro, en otro contexto? Ajá. ¿No? No. Ok, pues fíjense que estamos celebrando Valentines. ¿Nunca habían oído relacionado con Valentines engagement? Engage. That you give a yeah. ring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, in a different, in a different sense, right? But it's the same. It's the same. You are in the situation, right? You are in. Aha. A ver, ¿qué encontraron de definición para engage? A ver, Nelly. Engage is a verb. Yes, it is. Similar here, contract, engage, take on, sing on, cobble, engage, dock, mate, join, link. Okay. Attract, drown, lure, appeal, and teach. So those are synonyms, right? Those are synonyms for Some. the word engage, for the verb or that action. All right, yes. Mm -hmm. So it means that you are higher, you are contracted, you are in, okay? You are in that position. All I have, right. I mm -hmm. have another definition. Please. Tell me, Daddy. A formal agreement to get married. All right, that's engagement, the one on Valentine's, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes, that's the definition when a man gives a ring and they make the promise of getting married. Okay, that's an engagement. And they are engaged. Están comprometidos. Yeah. Esa sería una de las definiciones. Thank you very much, Doria. Okay, so happy Valentine, everybody. Uh, you are in love with your jobs, all right? So happy Valentine. I know that you celebrate in different ways. So I hope you really enjoy this celebration, all right? So continue, guys, continue with the next thing. Ya nos divertimos un poquito, ¿verdad? Ya se fijaron que también nos enamoramos del trabajo, ¿verdad? Nos comprometemos ahí. <laughs> okay. Bien, vamos entonces 
Ah, respiremos. Breath in, breath out. When I say black, you say white. Ok. Vamos a ver. Cuando yo digo black, ustedes dicen white. All right. Open your microphones and I say black. White. 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 Black. 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 White. 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 Black. 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 White. White. Black. Black. White. 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 Black. White. Black. Okay. White, black. <laughs> white, black. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's start over. When I say black, you say white. Okay. So white. Black. 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 White. 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 Okay. Vaya. Ahora el que se equivoque va a decir una penitencia. Okay. Va a ser una penitencia. Vale. When I say black, you say white. Black. White. 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 White black. Black white. Black white. Black white. Black white. Black white. Okay. White white black. Black black white. Black black white. White black white. Black white black. Black white black. White black white. Yeah, we're kind of tired, right? We're kind of tired now. Okay, people, thank you very much for participating. Todos ganaron. Ganó Irvita. Yay. Okay, there you go. So everybody won. So continue, guys. Continue. Let's go back. I know this. Uh, when we talk about procedures, when we talk about forms, and we talk about the formal and uh, formal procedures and this kind of professional affairs, then I think it's kind of tired. But we're going to try. Okay, we are going to try to define, make definitions, and enrich our vocabulary. Okay, we are going to expand our vocabulary. So now let's go to the manuals. And your manuals, you will have a description of each job position be, uh, that you find in an HR department, all right? You may find a recruitment coordinator, remember, a talent management consultant, a benefit specialist, a human resource generalist, okay? So these are four of the job positions in the HR department. So now let's look at it. Um, look at each one, all right? What are the requirements? And also the um, functions or responsibilities, okay? So let's go over that. Page 30, okay, page 30. Trying to share this thing and I don't know why it doesn't show up. So now we have the four job positions description, okay? This is human resources department, remember? Uh, yesterday, we saw some words like training, recruitment, skills, talent, development, goals, and benefits. All right, now let's look at the person in charge of the benefits and let's see what are the requirements. Let's read the first one benefit specialists. Benefit specialists. Specialist. So now let's think about the requirements bachelor's degree develops and maintains competitive, progressive and proactive compensation plans, creates cost-effective benefit programs to provide information, incentives and rewards for effective performance, works on weekdays, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. Okay, imagine that you want to apply to this um, job position. You have to have a bachelor's degree, you have to work on weekdays, and this is just a part-time job, and you need three years of work experience. 
Okay. What will be the functions? Develops and maintains competitive, progressive, and proactive compensation compensation plans. Creates codes, effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentives, and rewards for effective performance. Okay. Vamos a ver la siguiente, recruitment coordinator, recruitment coordinator. What are the requirements? What are the requirements? Uh -huh. Bachelor's degree. Five years of work experience. Degree in management. Okay, those are the requirements. But now, what does a recruitment coordinator do? Organizes. Organizing interview. Mm, estamos acá, miren, recruitment coordinator y aquí tenemos completas, exacto. Sí organiza las interviews, pero leamos acá lo que dice. Organize schedule of candidates interview. Uh -huh. Opens and post requisitions. What else? Coordinate internal. And in the positions, postings. Job postings, all right. Mm -hmm. And works with and supports our recruiting team. Okay, those are the functions. Those are the functions. A ver, señalemos entonces what are the requirements. The first one, it's a requirement, right? Bachelor's degree requirement or qualification, right? Has a degree in management. Another one, right? Five years, five years of experience. Another one. Okay. So those are the requirements. It doesn't have any other, right? Mm -hmm. Ahora, the functions or the responsibilities. Remember, you are going to find in writing the simple present third person, right? A simple present third person form. All right, let's talk about the, the human resources generalist. Human resources generalist. Bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. My says knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulation affecting human resource. Resources. Mm -hmm. Resources. Response to inqu inquiries regarding policies, regarding policies, procedures, and program. Work on Saturday, part time jobs, five years of experience in similar positions. All right, there you go. So now, if we think about the requirements for a human resources re generalist, um, which ones do you see in this list? The first one, bachelor's degree is one. Mm -hmm. And five years, right, of experience. Okay, acordémonos, ¿qué estamos viendo acá? Estamos viendo los requerimientos y las funciones que se espera que realice, ¿verdad? Entonces, when I ask, what are the requirements? Vamos a ver cuáles son las qualifications. Y cuando decimos, what does this job position do? Entonces hablamos de las functions, ¿verdad? Okay, so let's look at the talent management consultant. Talent management consultant. What are the requirements? Bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. One year, one year of experience. Very good. And what does a talent management consultant do? Responsible for leadership development, development, career development, 
career development. Yes. Mm -hmm. Assessment performance, learning and development. Very good. Mm -hmm. A lot of development, right? The leadership development, career development, and the performance, learning and development in general. It's not only the um, professional, but the social skills too, right? The social skills that they have to feel that they can, I mean, their personnel feels capable of doing the activities that the company requires, right? So yes, development, a lot of development. That's the main activity for a talent management consultant. All right. And then what do they offer? They offer full-time job, okay? It's a full-time job and you should work on Saturday. If you are able to work on Saturday, then the job is for you, okay? Uh, guys, do you like to work on Saturdays? No, teacher. No, uh, right. Uh huh. Do okay. you? Do you like to work on Sundays? No, teacher. Okay. Do you like to work on Fridays evening? <laughs> uh huh. No, teacher. Right. No, teacher. With an N, a capital N, N O. Right. Okay. There you go. So these are the job descriptions, benefit specialist, human resources generalist, recruitment coordinator, talent management consultant. All right, now we want to go to our manuals. In our manuals, we have an exercise, okay? We have an exercise. Okay, on page 32, on page 32, it's a vocabulary practice. It says human resources positions. A ver, ¿quién me lee esas positions que están ahí? Page 22. Mm -hmm. 32. Okay, please, Norma, go ahead. Teacher. Yes, please. Recruiting coordinator. Benefits specialist. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? H R generalist. Generalist. Yes. Uh -huh. Administrative assistant, compensation, compensation specialist, talent management consultant. 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 Uh -huh. Aquí como que fuera una O, mire, consult, consult, consultant. Ok, vamos a ver entonces que estas positions, ok, tienen una definición acá. Entonces vamos a hacer como un match, ¿verdad? Vamos a unir o vamos a escribir cuál de esas posiciones creen ustedes que estos puestos de trabajo, cuáles creen ustedes que irían acá. For example, number one. It says, overseas boats, the talent review and performance management process. Vamos a ver, permítanme, voy a tratar de ponerlo más pequeño y hacerlo así más, para que lo veamos los dos. Right. Here we've got them. All right. So, number one, what do you think it is? Leamos la número dos. Okay, let's read number two. Develops appropriate strategies 
for clients regarding employee relations, disciplinary actions, operations. Vamos a ver entonces. Number three. Works in a company's human resource or personnel department. Number four. Is responsible for assisting with the administration of all benefits. Number five. Handles administrative rec requests and queries from senior managers. Vamos a ver entonces. ¿Cuál de estos? Which one of these job positions match with the definition or the function, the main function? Talent management consultant is number one. All right, let's try to do this. Uh, you said talent management. Yeah. Yeah, for association, association, right? Talent management. Con... All right. Pongámosla y después podemos hacer los ajustes necesarios, okay? If we have one, any adjustment to do. All right, number two. HR general, generalist. Okay. Is, is two. En este caso lo vamos a poner en singular. ¿Verdad? Porque lo tenemos como singular. Miren, develops. Ok. Next one. Eso puede ser casi que cualquiera, ¿verdad? Let's look at number four. Number three is conversation specialist. Number three? Compensation specialist. Number four. Benefit specialist. What about number five, guys? Administration assistant. Administrative assistant, right? Administrative assistant. Administrative. Recruiting coordinator. All right. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to say a name and it's going to be number one, then number two, number three, all right? Mauricio, number one, Nelly, number two, Darío, number three, Jose Bernardo, number four. Um, Irma, Stephanie, number five, and Wendy is going to be number six. Reading, please, everybody. Let's start, Maurice. Talent management consult oversee, but talent review and perform management process. Okay, next. Human resources generalist develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relations, disciplinary actions, and operations. All right, number three. The compensation specialist works in a company's, in a company's human resource or personal department. Okay, ahí hagamos la diferencia de personnel, Person. right? And also resource, okay? Resource. Mm -hmm. 
the number four, number four. Yes, Bene please. Benefit specialist is responsible for assisting with the administration of all benefits. Very good. Responsa, responsible. Responsible. Okay. responsible. Yes, okay. even though it is with the letter I, we pronounce that like ah, okay, responsa, because it doesn't sound, all right? It doesn't sound letter I over there, so it's responsible, right? There you go. Number five. Um, assistant homeless administration requests um, care from senior manager. All right. And number six. Oh. Recruiting coordinator the scene um, implement over a recruiting strategy. Okay. Designs. Need Design. it? Designs. Mm -hmm. Design. Okay, people. So now let's go and try to. Um, Make an exercise, okay? I will send you a link. And we're going to play a quiz, okay? Yeah, no. do I have quizzes? No. No quizzes? Okay. No. Yes, teacher. See? Okay, then I will send you the link. Okay, there it is on the chat, Zoom chat. I will send it to the WhatsApp for those who can't uh, access by the Zoom chat. All right. Okay, you click on the link and then when uh, it's going to ask you for a nickname, all right? So you write your name there to access. There you go. Hmm. Welcome, Darío, Vladimir, Jose Gerardo, Lilibet. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there you go, Pablo. No way. It's Noah, right? Noah Martinez. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thank you, Daisy, welcome. Bernardo. Wednesday, Emerson. Okay, it started. <clears throat> Iniciamos, teacher. Yes, please. Ya está iniciado el juego. Entonces, ustedes van a ir contestando cada pregunta. You have to answer. Select the correct answer.
finished. All right, baby. It's kind of short. Mm -hmm. How is everybody doing? Mm -hmm. How did you feel it? How was it? Was it easy? Okay, then. I think we have nine done, ten done. Finished, All right, Mauricio, good. Finish. Okay. We have a 71%, okay, of precision. So everybody, uh, I think we have only one still working. I think we're all done, right? Okay. Nos queda alguien que está trabajando, pero no lo visualizo. A ver. Cierro lo que te he hecho, Tisha. I'm sorry. Cierro lo que te he hecho porque me aparece la evaluación ahí. Ok. Creo que Norma la sacó el sistema, Norma. O todavía está haciéndolo. Todavía estoy, Tisha. Ah, ok, ok. Continue. Continue. Wendy, ah, es que a Wendy se le duplicó, ok. Uh -huh. Ay, yo sí me saco. La sacó, ¿verdad? Sí, yo veo que aquí está teniendo problema usted con esa. Ok, we've got a 70% of precision, guys. Es como que nos hayamos sacado un 7 entre todos, ok. So, yes, it's the first time we are defining uh, all these functions and all these things. But yeah, you did a very good job. You did a very good job. So now allow me to. La sacó del todo, Norma? Mm, creo que no. Continúa, ok? Porque aquí tengo que sí la finalizó. 
Ah, pues ya terminé. Ajá, sí, la finalizó. El sistema creo que la finalizó, no sé por qué. Ok, okay vamos a ver. Ok, así que vamos a darle aplausos por ahí. Aquí están, mire, first, second, and third place. First place is for... Uh, ok. A ver, first place, Pablo. Yay, Pablo. Great. Second place is for Bernardo. Good. And the Rio, the third place. Good job, guys. Good job. So now, do you think you are able to talk about HR department? What are the functions and what are some of the job positions in the HR department? How do you feel with that topic? A ver, ¿cómo nos sentimos ya con ese tema? Ya lo conocimos un poquito, ¿verdad? Now we know just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you mention the four job positions we studied? Benefit specialist. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the other? Compensation specialist. Good. Talent management consultant. Consultant, yes. Mm -hmm. Administrative assistant. Good, very good. There we have four of them. Even though we saw just a little more, maybe two more, but yeah, that's correct, Aria. Thank you very much. Okay. Is there any question so far about the, um, the quiz you did? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca del, del jueguito que acabamos de hacer? Uh, yo sí, este, no sé si al final da una opción de concluir porque yo cerré desde la X. No, él sí le da eh, su calificación, digamos su puntaje, nada más. Mm. Uh -huh. Y ahí, ahí finaliza y ahí se queda. Uh -huh. okay. Sí. ¿Alguien más tiene eh, alguna pregunta? Okay. Come together and I will ask the questions like this. So what is the answer for the first question? Uh, aunque a todos les aparecía un orden diferente, ¿verdad? Pero una de las preguntas era, whose responsibility is overseeing both the talent review and performance management processes? Talent and Uh -huh. Era the talent management consultant, right? Mm -hmm. ¿Alguien tuvo duda en esa pregunta? Si hubieron varios que, que la fallaron. Vamos a ver la siguiente. It says, who develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relations, disciplinary actions, and operations? ¿Se acuerdan un poquito? Human resource generalist. General. Yes, correct. Uh -huh. And the other one was works in a company's human resource or personnel department and assesses that an organization, organization space structure for employees. Pay structure, compensation, right? Compensation. Everything that has to see with money. And they, these levels or tables or 
ways of compensation. It's not only the money, but maybe days off and all those kind of rewardings that we can get in an employment, then the compensation and the benefits specialists. specialists. And in some cases, you will find only one person in charge of both, okay? Only one person in charge of compensation and all the benefits. So it, it will be a compensation and benefits specialist, okay? And some of the cases, right? A ver, ¿existió alguna que recuerden que les dio así como que estaba peluda? <laughs> Ajá. No, ¿verdad? Todas estaban bien fáciles, ¿verdad? Eh, pan comido. Piece of cake, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Okay, no questions? All right. Bien, entonces hablábamos de que en HR we have procedures. Procedures. What is a procedure? What is the definition of that word? Procedure, procedure. What do you think is a procedure? Is the way you have to do something? Good. Mm -hmm. It's the way that you have to do something. That's a procedure. But it's not only the way, but it's the way established, right? That you have to follow. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have procedures and your companies? Yes, teacher. Can you give me an example of procedure? In, in, in my job for checking the forging, I have to check in the code of raw materials. I have to, um, I don't know how to say, medir. Measure. Me Measure. Sure. I have to measure the piece and the, take the weight. And okay. I have to compare it with the technical draw and the specification. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a procedure. You have to follow the steps in order to get an activity concluded, right? A task. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm, do you think that in HR, the procedures must have the last part of the communication or just to make the procedure? What do you think is the best way? ¿Cuál ustedes creen que es la mejor manera de establecer un procedimiento? ¿Solo establecer el procedimiento? O con la última parte de comunicar el procedimiento. ¿Qué es la mejor forma? Yes, the best form is communication. Yes, because all the personnel has to acknowledge the yes. procedures uh, because they are going to be involved in any situation or issue. And maybe they, uh, at that time that the situation happens, they would know how to act, all right? How to react, how to continue without any problem or stopping the production, for example, or stopping the, um, a assisting clients activity or the customer services activity. So they have to know how to handle the issues that may occur or may not occur, but they are imminent, all right? So they have to have the, I mean, they have to have the knowledge of these procedures. All right, but now, if we talk about the standardized procedures, standardized 
procedures, it means that there is a classification of, of issues, right? There is a classification of issues. For example, do you have a certain type of issues in your job position? Can you give me an example of situations that you have to handle uh, from your job position? Yeah, in the Al momento, al momento de estandarizar los procesos, ¿ok? Quiere decir que se han detectado y se han clasificado las situaciones o problemas, ¿verdad? Que podrían darse o que se dan en sus puestos de trabajo. ¿Podrían darme ejemplos de situaciones para las que ustedes tienen un procedimiento ya establecido cuando se da esa situación? Uh, on, on my company, uh, we have the procedures for the purchase. The purchase? Uh -huh. <laughs> because um, for the, ¿cómo se dice el lavado de dinero? Hey. <laughs> ah, hey. Hay dos delitos. Ahorita no lo tengo en la mente. Bueno, Permítame. Eso, ahorita se lo voy a poner. Okay, le doy la busco. idea. Uh -huh. eh, o sea, mi compañía y manual. It's laundry, de... but yeah. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. perdón. Ok, en my company hay the manual procedure because. Because um, the people, the, ay, no sé cómo explicarlo, pero se lo voy a explicar en español porque no manejo este vocabulario. Ok. Por, para evitar este, eh, los involucramientos con, con personas que tengan lavado de dinero. Entonces, ok. Se sigue un procedimiento para hacer una compra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about ma money laundering or something like that. Money, money Yeah, mon money, money laundering. laundering. Mm -hmm. Money laundering. And there are others like mm -hmm. scams. Scams, como estafas también, verdad? Mm -hmm. mm, scams. scams. But man money, money laundering. Mm -hmm. Money laundering. Mm -hmm. That is why you have to be careful with the origin of the money, right? That you have to uh, confirm the accounts, you have to confirm where the money is coming from. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every Everything has to have a proof of purchase, right? A proof of purchase. All right. Mm -hmm. And you have a procedure for that, I think, right? Norma? Yes, teacher. Okay, do you have a form that you have to fill in? ¿Tiene alguna fo algún formulario que usted llena como para solicitar algo? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, maybe... Eh, dependiendo este la uh, el monto dependiendo del monto de, de las compras mm -hmm. así es lo que se hace all right so you have different procedures for each kind of purchase all right thank you very much norma is there okay. any other situation in your jobs that you have to handle with a specific procedure? Yes. Okay, thank you, Norma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else? Mm -hmm. uh, in my job, uh, and I have procedures for the inspection of material. Okay. Uh, and prevent the, def the defective products or for uh, precision the customer. 
All right. So you have to check the material first. And, but if, I mean, if you detect these issue, uh, do you have to fill in a form? Yes, I have a spec uh, okay. the field. All right. What information do you have to write in the form? Um, and I have a, a personal in, in the in control quality. Oh, okay. And do you have codes for each issue? Codes, códigos, codes? No, 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 no have a code. Okay, you don't have codes. You have to describe all the situation. Yes. Okay. Uh, I have an inspection visual. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have to check some points, I imagine. It's a checklist. All uh, right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much, Pablo. That's very a very good example. All right. Now let's go back to the HR department. <clears throat> they have different actions or tasks that they have to perform. For example, we said that they are hiring or training or maybe they have to perform disciplinary actions or disciplinary um solving problems, right? Maybe they have different um, situations like the compensations that maybe weren't paid or that uh, they have to suspend your payment for any reason or they detect any failure in your job. So they have to take action. So that's when the forms and all the procedures of HR take action. Okay, so I want you to take you just to a very simple procedure, okay, in some steps. For example, they are listing a job, okay? They are listing a job and this is a recruitment procedure in any company. But let's think about a company that it's going to uh, hire, I mean, to develop this procedure online, okay? So let's look at this procedure. Uh, just step by step and it's a simple procedure, okay? It's a simple procedure. Let's try to write one of our processes in this way that we are going to see. Okay, here is the action. What is the action? New talent recruitment initially, right? So new talent recruitment. So this is the recruiting or recruiting process. Okay, recruiting process. Talking about the new talent, new people. The first thing is job listing. And they publish the application form link in the job listing. That's the first step, okay? Then the applicant has to fill in the job application online, right? Fill in the job application online. Let's look at the third step. You have to attach your resume and your certificates to the application form online, okay? Then after you submitted this form, then you will receive a pre-selection email confirmation. If you don't receive your email confirmation, maybe you are not selected, right? So you will receive a pre-selection email confirmation. The next step for this procedure is that when you receive the email confirmation, you have to fill in the attached 
form to confirm the schedule for your interview and evaluations. Okay, then. Is there when you agree what time and when you want your interview, right? When, when you will be available and what are the schedules available from the company, right? Then the next step is to attend the meeting, right? Attend meeting in our recruitment office. Okay, then in the office, take the psychological and the skills test the day and time agreed, okay? And there is a note here, okay? If you have any questions, please contact to that recruitment help desk and then there it is, the phone number. And it says, the specification is that during business hours, okay? During business hours. Usually business hours are from eight to five, right? From eight to five or from seven to four or three, okay? So we are talking about morning and afternoon, right? Okay, this is a simple procedure. If you see, these are step that you have to follow when you are up, uh, applying to a new job for this company, okay? What do you notice? What do you notice? Let's look at the form of the verb, okay, they are using. What tense do they write these steps? What tense do they use to write these procedures? ¿Qué tiempo verbal miran en los verbos? Present, present continuous. Present, okay. Hey, actually, we don't have the present continuous here. Uh, if you see, we say feel in, attach, okay. And here, aha. Uh -huh. It's a future, right? This is a future. You will receive a pre-selection, okay? Mm -hmm. And then fill in again, attend again, take again, all right? And then mainly will be simple present tense. And usually when we write a procedure, we use imperatives, okay? Usamos imperativos. Usualmente no ponemos un sujeto, ¿ok? Usualmente no ponemos un sujeto cuando describimos pasos, ¿ok? Siempre vamos a utilizar directamente el verbo, aunque el sujeto ya está implícito que es you, ¿verdad? Está tácito ahí, ¿ok? Is there any question so far about this procedure? No, miss. No questions? No. Okay. Entonces, lleguemos a la conclusión, okay? The conclusion here. Mm -hmm. ¿Para qué son los procedimientos? What are procedures for? Let's read. Mm -hmm. 
Then, if the procedures are a series of actions conducted in a certain order or manner, or manner, they are established or it's an official way of doing something. It means that for the age, our procedures, we have to have all the actions covered, right? From how the business recruits the staff and make these procedures clear, obviously, right? But expectations, rules, how managers can go about resolving issues if they arise, si aparecen, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, así rapidito pensemos en los procedimientos que acaban de ustedes mencionar y pongámoslos como en cuatro pasos, ¿verdad? Four steps. First step, second step, third step, fourth step. Acordémonos que lo vamos a escribir con el tiempo presente del verbo, que es la forma base, ¿verdad? Y sin sujeto, en forma imperativa. Vamos a ver. Vaya, para los demás que no dijeron un procedimiento, podríamos hacerlo con, por ejemplo, cómo aplican los nuevos empleados a su compañía. ¿okay? How to apply to a job in your company. ¿okay? What will be the procedure? Eso es como cuando en español nos preguntan, mira, ¿y qué tengo que hacer vos para que me contraten ahí? O sea, ¿Qué tengo que hacer? Ah, es lo mismo acá. Okay. What are the steps you have to follow? Ahorita están contratando, fíjate. ¿Y qué tengo que hacer vos? Eso es lo que vamos a hacer la lista ahorita. Okay. A ver, Mauricio, what is the first step you wrote? The first, uh, uh, the personal interview. When okay. I need a, a, a personal new. Oh, okay. First interview, then uh, feel a, uh, uh, ¿Cómo se solicitud de empleo? Job application. Ah, job uh -huh. application. Ok, entonces ahí en el chat puse, first step, interview the candidates. Ok. Yeah. Then, second step, fill in the job application. Uh -huh. And the third step. Teacher, how do you say prueba polygraphic? Uh, that's the line thing, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the, the polygraph, the polygraph something, you know, just give me one sec.
Yeah, it's the polygraph, uh, polygraphic uh, test. Lying detector también. Mm -hmm. The polygraph. Mm -hmm. Polygraph. Mm -hmm. Yes, Liz, uh, it's the polygraph test, polygraph test. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Ditch. All right. Okay, Mauricio. Mm -hmm. Ah, because you want to say entrevista personal. Eso es lo que usted quiere decir. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, is there any company here represented that you have to fill in the job application first and then you are assigned to the interview? Uh, the first interview. Okay. I, I, I checked. Uh, the resume. The resume. Uh, you profile okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, and then then feel uh, uh, appli appli solicitud application job application application, job application. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. up application. Mm -hmm. then this skill and uh, ability okay uh, skills, skills, and ability, mm -hmm. habilidades y actitudes. Okay. And test, arithmetica. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Then, mm -hmm. uh, he goes. Mm -hmm. uh, completar documento, como se dice? Complete, mm -hmm. complete paperwork. Yeah. Uh, I see, complete paperwork. Sol I see solven paper. Solvencia de la policía. Antecedentes penales. Ok. Tarjeta de débito. Do you then, provide any certification for doing that? Or they just go? It's go. Okay. What about in your company, Imelda? Uh, does the candidates fill in an application form? Your microphone is off. No lo entendí, teacher. En su compañía, in your company. When someone, cuando alguien wants to get a new job, cuando alguien quiere acceder a alguno, uh -huh, 
do they fill in a job application? Llenan solicitud? ¿O solo eh, se presentan? No, este, este, llevan lo que es el currículum y les hacen evaluaciones. Ok. Don't, don't they have to fill in an application, a job application form? No llenan ningún documento ellos. Solo en las evaluaciones que les hacen. Ok. Uh -huh. All right. Entonces, ¿cómo sería el proceso? Digamos que si yo quiero ir a pedir trabajo a su empresa, yo le digo, mira, ¿y qué tengo que hacer, Inventa? A ver. What's the process? First. Primero. Uh -huh. Take your resume. Ajá. Or your llevar el currículum. Yes, take your resume. Ajá. And then? ¿Y a dónde lo llevo, Imelda? Ah, lo llevo a, a dónde? Se lo doy al de contabilidad. Mm -hmm. No, vea. De, de Parman Human Resources. Ok. Human Resources Department, right? Mm -hmm. So the Human Resources Department. Ok. And then, va, digamos que ya lo llevé y me fui. ¿Cuál es el siguiente paso? What's the next step? Espera que te llamen, va a decir Imelda. Ajá, entonces, ajá. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? ¿Cómo se dice llamar? Call. Ajá, wait for them to call, call you, right? Mm -hmm. Wait for a call. Ajá. And then... Va, digamos que ya me llamaron. Y entonces, ¿cuál es el siguiente paso? What's the next step? La evaluación. Ok, good. Yeah. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuándo me entrevistan? When do I have to be prepared for an interview? ¿Cuándo tengo que estar yo ah, lista sí. para una entrevista? Sí, primero sería la entrevista y después las evaluaciones. Ok, there is an order of tasks, ¿verdad? Entonces eso es lo que estamos viendo, Imelda. El orden de las actividades para obtener un resultado. En este caso el resultado es aplicar, ¿verdad? Un nuevo trabajo, ¿verdad? Esa es la actividad que estamos haciendo. Y el que se encarga de eso es HR Department, ¿ok? Ahí en la tarea les queda en la... Hey, guys, 10.04 now. <risa> y nadie me dice, vea, nadie me dice. Solo me miraban así con los ojos. <risa> y yo dije, bueno, ¿y por qué me mirarán tanto? Ay, estoy <risa> linda hoy, dije yo. <risa> ok, people, no problem. I think, yes, we finished. A ver, uh, voy a tomar la asistencia rapidito. Así que por favor, acuérdense that requirement is that you have to turn your camera on and when I call your name, you have to say present. Eh, la sesión 1 a 1 para ahora es para José Gerardo. José Gerardo, are you in? No, yes, José Gerardo, ok. Yes, there you go. Ok, then, Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Ahí en la tarea van a encontrar un procedimiento. Los que no lo han hecho es un procedimiento y luego van a tener que llenar true or false. ¿Verdad? Si es que va antes, si es que va después, si es que el primer paso es esto, si es que el segundo paso es tal cosa. ¿Ok? Así que déjenla hecha el día de hoy, por favor. Ahorita que está fresquito, ¿verdad? Eso. Ok. Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Present teacher. Daisy Elizabeth Recino Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present. Ok. Irma Estefani Carranza Rivas. Present. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. José Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. 
present teacher. Okay. Karen and Janet Granados Orellana. Miss Karen. Luis Javier Castillo. Present, Miss. Mariana Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Marina Chancy Sandoval Bonilla. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Teacher, Mary, una pregunta. Sí, mi Mauricio. Eh, ¿La tarea se encuentra en el manual o, o dónde? Oh, no, no. Es la tarea de la plataforma, que es la oh. número la número 12 sería, ¿verdad? Ah, oh, okay, ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ok. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Ok. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arrué. Present, teacher. Ok. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher, good night. Okay, have a very good night, you too. All right, people. So have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Remember to do your homework. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. Bye, Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Jose Gerardo, here we are. This is your time. So um, how can I assist you tonight? Hello. Hello. How are you tonight? I'm fine. And you? Great. I'm doing great. How Good. have been your Valentine's Day? Ah, it's fine. Okay, no. great. <laughs> Celebrating? Uh, for this moment, no. All right, all right. Working? Only with my family. Okay, good. Okay, is there anything I can I assist you with the content? Do you have questions or any comments? Uh, only comments uh, for any personnel. Uh, I don't have uh, more time for my work. Uh, it's very, very uh, busy. Uh, busy. Es como se llama. He tenido algo un poco de como de poco tiempo con respecto a lo que es este curso de inglés. Pero de momento, en lo que me queda el tiempo, eh, siempre trato de darle una una mirada a lo que son los videos. Entonces siempre trato de, de de repasar lo que es la clase anterior. Pero de momento todo me ha quedado claro, no, no he tenido alguna duda así como, o sea, siempre son buenas las dudas, más sin embargo, siempre me ha quedado eh, clara lo que es la clase. Okay. Con respecto a actividades, sí siento que he fallado un poco por ese mismo tema de que por mi trabajo, a veces solo salgo del trabajo a descansar y de nuevo vuelvo al trabajo. Pero de lo contrario, todo bien, todo bien. Okay. Con ok, ¿y hay alguna actividad que quisiera que hiciéramos ahorita de los que ha tenido problemas? Con respecto a lo que estuvieron repasando sobre el develop y todo eso, eh, no tuve la oportunidad de escuchar toda la clase. Sin más, creo que me, come, eh, me conecté unos 20, 30 minutos después. Entonces no tuve la oportunidad de escuchar qué es lo que dijeron al principio. 
Eh, ¿De cuál? ¿De cuál me dice? Eh, antes de, lo de, de la actividad del quiz. Ah, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Creo que tuve bastantes erróneas porque creo que estaba relacionado a lo que habían visto anteriormente. Ah, sí, definitivamente. Está en la página 32 del manual. Ahí hay una actividad que usted puede llenar. Ahorita se la voy a mostrar acá. Esa actividad fue la que hicimos antes en donde definíamos las funciones de cada puesto de trabajo y definimos como los requerimientos ¿verdad? de cada de cada puesto de trabajo en el área de recursos humanos. Entonces, ahorita se lo voy a compartir, que sería la página 32 del manual. Acá, mire. Entonces, eh, teníamos por ahí esta actividad de completar haciendo el match de, estas, de estos puestos de trabajo. Teníamos ahí el Recruiting Coordinator, Benefit Specialist, HR Generalist, Administrative Assistant, Compensation Specialist, Talent Management Consultant. Y acá está como las definiciones. Miren, aquí en la siguiente actividad, que es la actividad 3, dice match the positions and part 2 with the definitions below. Entonces, uh -huh. así nos quedó. Mire, así como está acá. Uh -huh. Entonces, a partir de esto es que hicimos la actividad. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Con respecto también a las tareas, tengo una, una duda. Eh, uh -huh. No he logrado comprender bien lo que es eh, el tema de, de, de tareas con respecto a este curso. Veo que a veces uh -huh. se comentan como actividades o tareas adentro del grupo. Um, en, uh, que quisiera ¿Sí? saber más al detalle porque no entiendo. Yo ¿Cuál tipo vez... de tareas? Yo vi la vez pasada en el grupo que se estuvieron mandando un tipo de mensaje Ajá. y estaban mandando a la vez un audio, creo que diciendo ese mismo mensaje que se había mandado. Ahorita estoy buscando. Ah, ok. No, esas son actividades de clase. Ajá. Ah, lo que okay. pasa es que eh, como no lo terminamos acá, entonces quedaba como una tarea y así era como después escuchábamos los audios. Entonces es más fácil cuando uno tiene más tiempo en su casa, ¿verdad? Para grabarlo. Uh -huh. sí, y sí. era describiendo eh, diferentes cosas. La primera creo que era describir las actividades diarias o su sí, daily mantel, schedule. Sí. Uh -huh. okay. Su daily schedule. Lo puede hacer y enviarlo y yo lo, con gusto lo escucho, ¿verdad? Okay. Así como lo enviaron ellos. Y luego en la plataforma, en la discussion label, en, la, en, la, en el área del foro de discusiones, sí. ahí pongo yo lecturas, videos, cosas que, eh, actividades extra, ¿verdad? Que les ayudan a practicar. ¿verdad? Siempre dentro del, del, de la plataforma. De la plataforma. Uh -huh. Exacto. En la plataforma tenemos ahí eh, el foro de discusión. Hay dos maneras de llegar al foro de discusión. ¿Sí ha participado en el foro? Sí, sí. Ya, ya participé okay. un par de veces. Uh -huh. Sin embargo, veo que ya hicieron bastantes. Sí, ya hicimos varios. Es que procuro que se hagan en la clase precisamente para que todos participen, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. este, a veces, pues, que ya no alcanzan a subirlo, lo hacen después, ¿verdad? Y ahí queda posteado para los que no pudieron asistir, para que puedan accesar y hacer la actividad, ¿verdad? Y no perderse la práctica, ¿verdad? Ok. No, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, sí, me he estado fijando un poco en eso. E eh, eh, igualmente, como le repito, ¿verdad? Hay ocasiones en las que no me queda el chance como de estar así eh, interactuando entre la clase. Sí. Pero, ¿cómo se llama? Siempre trato de estar pendiente como de la, de la, la repetición de la clase, lo del video. Ok. Y uh -huh. pues yo ahí estoy disponible para que si usted tiene alguna duda, con gusto usted me postea ahí en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. que tiene alguna duda o con gusto le asisto, ¿verdad? En lo que okay. sea de la plataforma o algún contenido, ¿verdad? Una duda que usted tenga, ahí se la resolvemos también, ¿verdad? Okay. O incluso en, en clase usted puede preguntar, ¿verdad? Y yo con gusto, pues si no tengo la respuesta en el momento, se la busco, ¿verdad? Oh, ok, con todo okay. gusto. Uh -huh. okay, pues, Por el momento, entonces, yo creo, permítame, déjeme ver en, en la plataforma cómo vamos con usted. 
para Creo que cualquier tareas. cosa yo le ayudo ahorita o le indico alguna cosa que no haya quedado clara. Por ejemplo, en las tareas, sí. Uh -huh. en las tareas sí las eh, debo la mayoría. Uh -huh. Bueno, en su mayoría las debo todas. Sí, Más porque... Sin embargo, ahora Ajá. que tenía el tiempo pensaba ponerme hoy al día. Ah, bueno, muy bien. Ajá, Ajá. porque toda esta semana atrás me, me ha quedado bastante saturada de trabajo. Pero el día de sí. ahora, eh, considero que ya estoy al día con las dos semanas que tengo retrasadas. Ah, sí, porque de hay hecho, que hacer de la el... Clase pensaba, de, pensaba ponerme a hacer lo de las tareas. Ok, Va, eh, hay una tarea en que, no sé si ya la realizó, pero me déjenme verle. Está un poco lento por acá, no me está cargando Tenía todo. la tarea... Ajá, um, porque hay una tarea en donde tenemos... Eh, un error de programa, ¿verdad? Sí. En donde no se consignó una palabra y se puso otra. Creo que es la número... No, pero las de la 1 ya la hizo, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Pero... ¿Sería de la unidad 2? No, en la unidad 2 estamos bien. Ahí no hay problema para... Está todo consignado correctamente. Ajá. Ahí no habría ningún problema. Pero me solo quiero verificar una cosa aquí en el, la, en el libro de calificaciones para estar ya seguros que vamos. Ajá. En la 1, quiero ver... Ah, sí, en la 1 me ha hecho las dos primeras, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Ahí estamos. Entonces, sí, en la 1 le toca completar 3, 4 y 5. 3, 4 y 5. Permítame un momento. Me están llamando. Uh -huh. Sigamos. Entonces, en las tareas sería desde la 3 a la 5 y luego toda la unidad 2. La unidad 2, sí. Ajá, y luego le eh, quedaría el examen intermedio. El a examen esta altura, yo le aconsejo que vaya adelantando, ¿verdad? Que ya vaya pensando en tratar de llegar hasta la. El, el, ahora, ahora toca la, la 12, ¿verdad? Ahora mm. toca la 12. Entonces vaya adelantando ahí lo más que pueda para que vaya subiendo, ¿verdad? El progreso. Y para que usted esté seguro que está consignándolo, entonces busque ahí en el progress. Ahí okay. dice, sí, ya lo ha visto, ¿verdad? La, la, sí, sí, la sí. gráfica. A veces lo que hago es actualizar la página y ya me aparecen okay. las tareas completadas. Ok, perfecto entonces. Bien, entonces si hay alguna duda o algo, usted nos hace saber ahí por el WhatsApp y con gusto le ayudamos, ¿verdad? Ok, ok, then have a very good night, José Gerardo, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye.